Hello everyone and welcome to Coding Cart. So in this session we are going to start a graph data structure using Python. So you can see here, here is our roadmap means how we are going to start our session. So this is our very first topic like we'll go with introduction, what is graph, what is node and edges, how to create the graph and how to display, how to traverse the graph. So for that we have two algorithm BFS and DFS. So when we are going to do the traversal, we will do with both the way like iterative way and recursive way. So once we are done with this part, what we will do, we will try to solve some simple problems like hatch path, undirected path, connected components, largest components, slow and steady, shortest path, island count and minimum island. So after solving these eight problems, so once we get the confidence, we will try to jump to the hacker rank or lead code. So we will start with the hacker rank. So you can see here. So on hacker rank under interview preparation kit, you can see we have the problem like from the BFS, we have the shortest reach. So this is the problem. So I'll be explaining you this problem in a very simple way and the solution also in a very simple way. So in order to solve this problem, let us first understand how to create graph and how to do the traversal and all with the help of BFS and DFS. So today in this session, we will go with the point number one introduction. What is graph? What is node and edges? And point number two, how to create and display the graph. I won't be explaining you each and every type of graph because there are so many types of graph and you can go directly to this site and learn about different types of graph like finite graph, infinite graph, trivial graph, simple graph. There are many. So I will provide you this link. You can go through this theoretical part. I will basically focus on the coding part. So let us start with the very first part introduction. Of what is graph? So in a simple way, I can say a graph is a collection of nodes and edges in which two nodes are connected with the help of this edge. These are the nodes which store the values and these are the edges which is a connection between two nodes. These are the edges. So in a simple language, if I say these nodes are objects, objects means for example cities these nodes are cities okay and these edges means and these edges are path means road or connection between these two cities so in a simple way graph is a collection of nodes and edges okay all right so here we will deal with two types of graphs one is the directed directed and another one is undirected Undirected. So from the name on you can see directed, which means if two nodes are connected, so there will be one connection with the A's and the direction will be given. So this is node A, this is B, and this is C, and this type of direction will be given. Means A is being connected to B, so we have to move in this direction. So for A and C, we have a direction like we have to move from C to A. So this is a directed graph. So for undirected graph, and for undirected graph only connection is given this type of connection we can move in both direction suppose a this is b and this is c so from this a i can move directly to c or from c i can move directly to a so this is undirected graph so going forward we will deal with only this directed and undirected graph all right so this was a brief introduction on what is graph nodes and edges now let us move to second point how to create and display for example, suppose we are given the connection between two nodes like suppose we have i, j, i and j are connected. Suppose k, let me write some example, m, l, o and n. So k is connected to l, k is connected to i, only this much, okay. Suppose this is one simple graph. Simple graph. So suppose this is a simple graph in which the nodes are i, j, k, l, m, n, and o. So these are the nodes. Okay. Now if I say, if I go with i, suppose if I say i, node i. So this node i is connected to which which node? j and k. All right. Now let's go to the second node J. J is connected to J is connected to only I. K is connected to 
I and L and M. K is connected to I, L and M. And L is connected to only K. M is connected to K. N is connected to O and O is connected to N. All set. By seeing this graph, we can say this is the connection. All right. Now, if you see this structure, it's look like if I keep, if I keep all the nodes, if I keep all the nodes as a key of my dictionary and these connected nodes as a value, then it will work like a dictionary, right? It's work like a dictionary. So, so we will be using dictionary data structure to solve graph problems. So let us solve this problem only. Let us. So we will be using dictionary data structure to solve the graph problems. So let us create. So let us create. So we will take the same example in which our connection between nodes is given. Means if I say i comma j. Now we will use the same example. For example, if I say i comma j, it means i and j connection is given. Means node i is connected with node j. So let me first take one sample. Then I will explain you line by line. Now let us write the code. So for example, suppose the hard coded value, which is the edges, which is the connection between two nodes, are given. So we will take the same example of this one. Suppose i j k l m n o are given. And the connection is like i comma j, which means the nodes i and j are connected. So let me write the code in a simple way here. Suppose edges equal to suppose the list is given. So i is connected with j, means i comma j. If I write, if I write i comma j, it means node i and j are connected. So here we are giving only the edges. Now let let us take another another was k was connected to i k was connected to i after that m was connected to k m was connected to k let me write first after that k is connected to l k is connected to l and o is connected to o is connected to o is connected to n suppose this edges connection is given to us this is the hard coded value now from this connection we have to create the graph that's the main part so suppose this hard coded value which is the connection between two nodes are given these are the edges i comma j which means i is connected to j so with the help of these edges let us create the graph so let us define build graph okay and here we have to write the logic and suppose it, this build graph function accepts these edges okay now from here let us call build graph and let us pass this edges okay now here what we are going to do is so here we will be using dictionary data structure in which each and every node will be our key and the value will be its connected node so let us take one dictionary, empty dictionary with the name graph. Okay. Now, now let us iterate in this edge. So for edge in this edges. Okay. So for edge in edges, it means it means we have two value i comma j. It will look like. So for edge in edges, it means in edge we have this list. It means in this edge 
will be having list in this one correct so what we are going to do here is let us take two point 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 a and point b since only two values are present so we can directly assign this age so i will be assigned in point a and j will be assigned in point b now here we have to use dictionary so currently our graph is empty so since our graph is empty what we are going to do here is we will check if point a if point a not present in graph if it is not present in graph what we are going to do here is if it is not present what we are going to do here is make that point a as a key and assign one empty list such that such that if any other connection coming to point a will simply append that in value part for that key so what we are going to do here is in graph let us take this point a as a key and assign a empty list okay if point a is not present and if point b is not present if point b not in graph not in graph then what we are going to do the same thing in that graph let us take this point b as a key point b as a key and assign an empty list so currently i and j are my point a and point b so nothing is present so i will be the key and empty list a value and j is a key and empty list a value all set now since i and j are connected with each other so what we are going to do here is once empty list is done here in this key and value part empty list is here for the value part for each key now see this i and j i and j these both are connected with each other so what we are going to do here is in this i we will assign the value j and for this j we will assign the value i such that it will look like i is connected to j and j is connected to i so so once we are done what we will do in graph for key point a we are going to append append the point b point b and for graph with a key b for point b we are going to append the point a means for i we are connecting j and for j we are connecting i append point a point a so we are done now next time k and i now next is k and i so the condition is if k not in graph yes k is not in graph so let us treat this k as a key and we'll assign an empty list okay so k is done if point b which is i if i not in graph but it is present so it is not going this if part now graph of point a graph of k we are going to assign i and in graph of i we are going to assign k understood how the things are working so here we have j comma k in the i now next is m comma k next is m comma k so m not in graph yes m not in graph so m not in graph so m will be assigned here with empty list now next one is k k not in graph but it is present so point of m we are going to assign k and for k we are going to assign m means we are going to append now m is done now next is k and l k and l k is present if it is present it will assign here 
here it will append i is there m is there now it will append this l okay so here k is done now next is l so l is not present so l will be there and empty list and k will be appended here next one is o and n o and n o is not connected so empty list and n will be here n will be as a key and o will be appended here so finally we will get this dictionary here we have three value i m and l so it's look like all the nodes are key and how the things are connected with this i how many nodes are connected j and k with this j only i with this k i m and l with m only k with l we have k o we have n n n with n we have o so it will look like this above sequence how each and every things are connected so we are almost done means our graph is ready so let us return this graph return this graph and let us print and see the output whether the connection is correct or not okay let me run this one here we are going to call this build graph with this edges let us print this one so you can see the output how the things are working for i we have two connection j and k so you can see here for i we have j and k we have j and k for j we have i for k we have i m and l for k we have i m and l so you can see here for k we have i m and l for m we have k for m we have k for l we have k for o we have n and n we have o so you can see here it is working perfectly so this was the simple explanation for this graph for this graph which we have created okay so it's working perfectly means we are getting the correct output correct connection so this was the simple explanation how to create graph and how to display this connection so this was when the connection was given to us the hard coded value so in this session only this much i hope you understood little bit so if you have learned something new please do like and subscribe to our channel coding card and stay tuned for the next video so in next video what we will do we will take this edges as an input from the user and again we will try to display the graph okay so in this session only this much so i hope you have learned something new in a very simple way so stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching thank you